<clears throat> yes, our problem is not just that we need to defeat Donald Trump. We need a plan to solve institutionalized hatred, collectivized hatred, and white nationalism. And in order to do that, we need more than political insider game and wonkiness and intellectual argument. Those things will not defeat Donald Trump. We need some radical truth telling, not just to talk about health care, but talk about why are we so sick all the time. We need to have a serious conversation about race and what is truly owed. Even on the subject of foreign policy, it's all about symptoms and not about cause. We need to talk about the fact that the United States has sacrificed our moral leadership the fact that countries see us, not only domestically but internationally, with policies that simply support our corporate overlords. The fact that our national defense agenda is driven more by short-term profits for defense contractors than by genuine peace building. There is some corruption that is so deep, ladies and gentlemen. And until the Democratic Party is ready to speak to the deeper corruption, knowing that we ourselves sometimes, because of our own corporate donations, have participated, then I'm afraid those who vote for Trump will continue to vote for Trump, and those who might not like Donald Trump will continue to stay home. I want a, a politics that goes much deeper. I want a politics that speaks to the heart. Because the only way to fight, you keep talking about how we're going to fight Donald Trump. You can't fight dog whistles. You have to override them. And the only way you can override them is with new voices, voices of energy that only come from the fact that America has been willing to live up to our own mistakes, atone for our own mistakes, make amends for our own mistakes, love each other, love our democracy, love future generations, something emotional and psychological that will not be be, be emerging from anything on this stage. It will emerge from something I'm the one who's qualified to bring forth.